We're gonna be making a set of black beans that I just absolutely love. Recently, I've been keeping a Tupperware container of these black beans in the fridge, and I've had them on hand nearly every week this summer. After we get done with the black beans, we're then gonna focus on breakfast, specifically huevos ranchero style breakfast. It's super simple, super cheap, and it's surely a good way to start your day. But enough talk, let's get to this. So for today's huevos rancheros, the first thing you'll want to work with is preparing the black beans. This can easily be accomplished by soaking overnight, boiling on the stovetop, or in my case, with a rice cooker. Honestly, you could also use canned beans here too, I promise the recipe will turn out just fine. But if you're going with the rice cooker route, you'll simply start by washing your beans off and adding to them a 3 to 1 ratio of water. Following that, simply close the lid, hit the brown rice button, and let it do its magic. But on top of that, you'll dice up one medium white onion, like we've done many times before on the channel. Next, you'll bring a medium-sized saucepan to the stovetop and drop in enough olive oil to coat the bottom. As you bring that up to a slightly high temperature, you'll notice that the oil will become significantly less viscous. And once it's up to temp, throw in your onions and top them with a pinch of salt and pepper to aid in the sweating process. To those onions, add in one tablespoon of minced garlic and let fry for about five minutes. Then, you're going to add in one tablespoon of ginger paste and fry for an additional five minutes. At this point, you'll find that the onions are fairly browned and the smell of garlic and ginger is filling your kitchen with savory aromas. Take your fully cooked black beans out of your rice cooker and throw them directly into the pot. If you're using canned beans, feel free to keep the liquid in or strain the beans. Personally, I think the aquafaba makes a perfect canvas for all the flavors and spices to hold on to. And speaking of spices, add to the pot one teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of chili powder, and approximately two tablespoons of lime juice. Just enough to make sure that the beans have a bit of soaking liquid. Reach for a lid to cover your beans and keep them warm while you work on the other pieces of our huevos rancheros. And it turns out that if you spin the avocado just right, you can use centripetal force to pull the slices right out. Next is the tomatoes, which you can use whatever kind seems good to you. I prefer Roma tomatoes because of their lower water composition. Using a serrated knife, slice into small pieces and set aside. Next, play a game of mix and match pan placement in preparation for the eggs and tortilla. In the large skillet, you'll let a tortilla warm up while you use a small pan to fry up two sunny side up steamed eggs. Starting with your oil at a 7 out of 10 in terms of degrees of heat, Crack in two eggs and let the whites crispen up a little bit. Just make sure you move quickly so you don't overcook the yolk. And once the whites have solidified, hit them with a bit of salt and pepper. Cover the pan and drop the heat to about a four or a five. The lid here is added to use any steam to cook the tops of the whites without needing to flip the egg and risk breaking the yolk. While the egg is going about steaming, you'll want to have your base ready. Simply toss your tortilla onto a plate and top it with a generous spoonful of your black beans. Decoratively layer on your avocado slices and bring your two perfectly cooked eggs over. After that, place your tomato pieces on top and garnish with a tidbit of cilantro. And that's about it, y'all. If there are two takeaways that you could have from this recipe, they're the black beans and the style of frying the eggs. The black beans bring a huge boost of savoriness and complexity of flavor to the meal. And by steaming the eggs, you're nearly guaranteed to have a runny yolk without leaving behind any of the uncooked white. Go ahead and give this dish a try, and while you're at it, send a picture of your creation over to my Instagram. If you haven't yet, you should definitely follow me there for more videos tailored to my day-to-day -day cuisine. Beyond that, make sure to like and subscribe here on YouTube for more creations that are sure to please a crowd without breaking your budget. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.